about law and order. The law does not recognize who is a politician. The law does not recognize who is the leader of a political party. The law does not recognize who is what. The law simply recognizes a human being who should operate within the rule of law. You transgress the law. Do not cross lines. Don't say you cannot, the police should not get to you because you are leader of a political party. No, 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 no. Uh-uh. Nikani ina nguiyo. Nikani ina nguiyo. My wife and myself and my children cannot go to a public place and start attacking people because I'm the president of Zambia. The law does not allow that. The law does not allow that. Watch the entire video, my lovely viewers. I mean from start to finish to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Our duty, our duty is to deliver services to our people to deliver Chitukuko, Zuelo Pili, Weantanshi, Lusumpuko. That's our duty. And we must consider this as a national rallying point, unit of purpose. This is where we need to work together as a country when it concerns development like this. Projects like what the Minister of Local Government talked about. Bursaries decided at the local level, never done before. Even in our time, all the bursaries were decided in Lusaka. Now, some bursaries are decided at the local level. Skills training at the local level. This is what our agenda must be, as a national agenda, as a rallying point, as a cry point, if you want. You can use any word you wish to use. This is very important. Vice President Kabindele, you know what you went through. You want to be a proud Vice President to see that in Kashinakash, they are schools with running water. In Kashinakash, there are children sitting on the desks. In Kashinakash, there are children who have gone for plumbing skills, who have gone for carpentry skills. That's what you want to be proud about. This is a rallying point, fellow citizens. I want to urge you, sometimes distinguish noise from content. Just distinguish that. We want to make you proud, sir that the things that we could not do in Watopa, we can do them now with these decisions. The things we couldn't do in Kambombo, we can do now with these decisions. And we can monitor those projects while the member of parliament for Chama North, Chama South is in parliament. Now he's able to ensure that boreholes are being sunk, pumps are being repaired because these vehicles will be used to check and deliver a hand pump. Check how those vehicles are. They'll be able to deliver hand pumps. While the M people, Chama North, Chama South is in parliament debating where it could be happening in Chama. That is the issue. That's the issue here. Fellow citizens, tomorrow is Africa Freedom Day. And you hear me speak 
freedom, political freedom without economic freedom is not enough. But this is the way we achieve economic freedom at the grassroots level. I want to send a message here that members of parliament from all the political parties, PF, UPND, independents, mayor of Lusaka, and I want to send a message to the mayor of Kitwe, mayor of Kitwe, I'm sending a message to you. We have no time to petty around. We must work together. Government is the executive. In this, what we are doing today, there is no opposition mayor. There is no ruling party mayor. There is no opposition MP. I'm repeating what I said already, but I'm using different words. There is no opposition council chairperson. There is no ruling council chairperson. There is no opposition councillor. There is no ruling party councillors. There is no district commissioner or secretary of the cabinet, or indeed other permanent secretaries, all parastatos, indeed council workers that belong to a political party. In this business we are here for today, we are doing it for the 20 million citizens of Zambia. All of them. We shall talk elections in 2026. Now we talk delivery. Now we talk development, unit of purpose. I want to thank all the elected officials for agreeing to work together. Where you see a problem in your constituents, please talk to somebody. Make a call to somebody. And I want to ask all the MPs. Some have said they are not willing to meet with the president. I'm asking you, let's meet so that we can improve on how we deliver on CDF. Let me remind us what the Constitution says. The Constitution recognizes three arms of government. first. The Constitution recognizes that there are three arms of government. There is the executive, where the presidency and ministers sit, and others, cabinet office, everybody, Kaufella. There is also judiciary, number two. Those judges are not judges belonging to executive. They belong to the judiciary as an arm of government. Then there is legislature, parliament, the whole parliament. It does not distinguish which political party you come from. The whole parliament is part of government, three arms of government. So let us work together as a government in totality, three arms of government. I hope I'm clear about that. We don't want a constituents not receiving development because someone sitting in that constituent does not want to work with the rest of government. No. Let's work together to deliver for the people of Zambia. I see the vehicle there where the ribbon will be cut. That vehicle, my eyes are still OK. It says Chiengi constituents. It's the citizens of Zambia in Chiengi that that vehicle has been bought for, irrespective of who is a member of parliament. Let us work together. Let me send another message here. These vehicles are supposed to help implement CDF effectively. That's all. 
They are not bought for any other purpose. These vehicles are not personal to hold the vehicles for someone to say the hand pump is not being fixed, but the vehicle is parked at someone's house. No. These vehicles are supposed to be busy in the constituents. Every word to check that the schools are being built properly, to check that the maternity wings are being built, to check that the boreholes are being sunk. And all of this work must be done at the right price. All of this work must be done at the right quality. All of this work must be done on time. This is what these vehicles are for, nothing else. Timbelane Bueno Bueno. If we find these vehicles at a girlfriend's house in the night in Mulandu, We don't want these vehicles to be found at a boyfriend's house at 20 hours, no. Equally, equally, no MP should say I'm busy in the constituency because I'm at parliament. When you are at parliament, let these vehicles do the work so that the progress goes on. And it am quite a pillar. Chamwa Zaman. That's it. Anything else? I'm asking all the traditional leaders, including us headmen, including the youth, Mayufi, including the women. We are the eyes of these vehicles. Pangono, the Verane Pangono. Traditional leaders, traditional leaders, the minister didn't say it there because he said other good things. We have taken a decision to bring back dignity to our traditional leaders. This year alone, we are building 100 palaces for traditional leaders. A house for the chief, two houses for the retainers, Water which is reticulated, either electricity or solar, but also an office for the chief. Pembela first, Pembela first, Mulindile first, Lindilani first. Also, also, I said an office, but also a meeting room. What else? These citizens are providing a motorbike for the chief so that the Capasso can send messages and check whether these vehicles are at a bar or not in the night. So, Kulibe Kubisa. I am a motor in a man so yambiri. Ndako. Please, traditional leaders, when you hear in your area, chief dom, a school is being built, a classroom, a maternity wing is being built, water is being put in places. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Minister. Ah, I can see you are following my speech. Thank you very much. The Minister of Local Government has just reminded me 
that is actually 110 palaces we are building this year. Now, hear me out, Pangona. Hear me out. This is very serious. Our Royal Highnesses, when you hear a classroom is being built in your area, because even you, we are getting you vehicles without segregation. It doesn't matter whether you supported HH or UPND before election. Now we have to work together. We have to work together now. It does not matter. We have to work together. Pangona, Pangona, Pangona. You hear that a bow is being put. Find time to go to the site. When you arrive, Varishan Mkwaipa site pano, Muribanji, Muributi, how is the work going? You check the quality. You check whether contractors are doing a good job or not. If they are not, you must phone someone and say, go and check there. Something is going on. I am serious. I'm not joking. Society must be its own supervisor. We are bringing distance to, to traditional leaders. We want them to retain respectability. And when they go on sites, the community will respect them because they are working for the people. As the member of parliament, as the mayor, as the councillor, as the president himself, and who else? As you, the minister. GN67 Zerevan to manje. Kulibe excuse. When I say minister, I don't mean the minister of local government. All the ministers. We must all, the president, everything, cabinet office, let's work for the people. That's all. That's all. Nothing else. Nothing else. Let me say public resources have gone to the people now and we shall follow their accountability. We have taken a lot of this money from the big thieves in Lusaka to the constituencies. That's why we monitor. But we don't want small thieves in the constituents to steal their money now. Let me repeat. What you see here is to monitor projects. Which projects? CDF projects. Is it possible? Yes. Is the money there? Yes. Now we've taken the money from the big thieves in Lusaka who were stealing millions. We've said this money, let's not buy expensive planes. Let's not buy things that are of a luxury, VXs. This is the replacement. The money we saved from VXs, we put in here. And then we monitor the projects in the constituencies. Pangono, Pangono. Most of the money, government money, was stolen from Lusaka, where the big fish live. Now we've taken the money to the constituencies, where the people live. You look after this money. Anyone who steals the money, we shall follow them. And even if they are small thieves, we shall catch up with you sooner or later. This is public money. It belongs to you, the public. If someone is pocketing it, don't allow that to happen. Because it means we can't buy desks for our children. It means we can't pay bursaries for our children's skills at boarding schools. It means we can't give you water, clean water. That's all. That is the message I wanted to deliver today to the nation, the whole nation. Let us work together. People of Zambia, I want to assure you that we are committed to devolution through decentralization. This is the test of the pudding. We are committed to taking care of the people. That's why while we are restructuring the economy, we thought free education is important. We thought CDF is important. We thought social cash transfer is important. We thought that we pay our soldiers at the UN the full allowances. We thought that meal allowances are important for our children while we are fixing the economy.
At this juncture, at this juncture, we would like to officially hand over these vehicles to all the 156 constituencies and wish all our colleagues in the constituencies, all of them, MPs, councillors, everybody, chairpersons, mayors, DCs, all of us, we wish you solid teamwork, solid teamwork. Don't spend time quarreling. Spend time debating on where the money must go in the constituencies. But more important, work and work and more work. That's what this country needs. It doesn't need anything else. It needs work. We are behind. Other countries have moved ahead of us. We must move very quickly in order to deliver for our people. And jobs will come from there. Businesses will come from there. Colleagues, thank you for your kind attention. I'm very, very grateful. I'm very happy today that what was to others a dream today is reality. May God bless Zambia. Thank you very much. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.